Welcome back to Doobie's Day. Do you like the beard? Mrs. Doobs loves it. She says I should keep growing it. Anyway, today on Doobie's Day, we're going to add another security camera to the house. This time it's the oh, Ring Floodlight Cam. Let's do this. Okay, unboxing. Uh, take the top off. I will blow this front out because it's got all of our addresses on it. You can come a little bit closer, Mr. Doobs. Uh, let's have a look. So, ring, floodlight cam, mountain bracket, use mails, instruction tools. So, up to me. So like our other, so like our other ring cameras, um, we picked this because it goes into a series. So you've got one app on your telephone, which once I've rigged this up, I'll show you, and you get three different views, because we'll have three cameras now in the house, showing various aspects around, uh, around the property. Um, this particular one, um, if I just take this off, where does this come out? Oh, I've one here. Um, this particular one has lights on it. Um, I'll just get rid of the box. Um, how do we get into this? Aha, get rid of that. Uh, this has lights on it and it has a siren on it. Um, so like the one that we've got on the rear of the property, very similar. Um, i just take this out of here. <clears throat> As you can see, big LED lights. This is a wired version of the camera. Um, and you can put it either upside down or vertical. Uh, sorry, for, uh, vertical. Upside down or the right way up. So you can either have it this way or you can have it this way. Um, I haven't decided which way we're going to do it yet. It seems logical to go that way, doesn't it? So, um, inside the box, the ring. Sit that there. Uh, always home. I don't know what this is. This is like the instruction manual. Oh, yes. Why do they put little security things in like that? Anyway, so, floodlight ring cam. Uh, instructions. So we should have an installation kit. So screwdriver. So look at the installation kit. Ooh. So we should have screwdriver, Phillips bit, mounting bracket, install screws, anchors, drill bit, cap nuts, hook, hanger, floodlight cam, wall connecting the wires, and so it all fits together. So we have a mountain bracket, initial screws. Okay, so we have um, neutral, live, and earth that connects straight into the flood lamp cam. So you basically run a cable from inside your house on a, a normal 13 amp socket, uh, project it through the wall, put the mountain bracket on, connect it up to the camera, put this bit to that bit. It should be straightforward. So it's going to go that way. Those two screws on there, so it must be these things there. So I'm just going to get, oh, there you go strong fingers and thumbs that I have. Take that off. Take this one off. And do that. Put that down there. I'm hoping. Yay, the back bit comes off. There's the lights, they're connected up to the power. Connect your earth wire to the earth post on the floodlight cam. Which is down here. See that? That's where your earth wire is going to go. So when we represent the wire from inside, there we go, live and neutral, uh, we'll connect it into here. Before we do that, the looks of it, we have to present the wire through here. So there's a little cap on the back. We'll remove that. We need to secure this to the wall. Okay, where we're going to have it. Uh, we present the wire through here, into here, through this hole from the back. So we've got a couple of screws, screw holes which we need to drill. Um, and then we connect it up. So let's do that. Okay, so I've run the wire through the wall and I need to cut a hole in this gasket to bring the cable through. And I need to make two drill holes, one here and one here in the wall to present this onto the wall. So let me do that next. Okay, so we're just mounting the brackets. We've run the cable, which is here. We're gonna mount the brackets, put the cable through uh, the bracket, which is down here. And then we'll secure it to the wall, and then we'll do the, uh, the cabling part, which is the um, demonstrating the wires from here, or presenting the wires from here to the back of the unit. And then we'll screw it all together, and then we'll plug it in and go from there. Thank you. 
Okay, so we've got the cable through, we've put the bracket on the wall, and what we next need to do is strip the cable, giving this the earth um, live and neutral, and then they give you this handy little hook to hook the main unit onto the wall while you uh, connect it all up. Then you push it together to the two screws up and we're done outside. Let's do that. Okay, that's the uh, security light installed. Um, as I understand it, so before I put the, the ladder away, as I understand it, I've now got to press that button and do the app at the same time after it's plugged in to get it all going. So I'm going to do that. Okay, just restored power. Um, as you can see up here, it's now flashing. See the light up there? It's now flashing. Um, it says, after restoring power, reading this out, uh, after restoring power, the lights will turn on and your floodlight cam will begin speaking to you to let you know it's in setup mode. Then it says, perform the in-app setup. In the ring app, select set up a device and follow the in-app instructions to connect floodlight cam to your Wi-Fi network. Okay, uh, let's set up a device, a security cam. Ah, I've got to go and scan the QR code. Then we're going to do that. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Okay, managed to do that. Now it says to get started, install a mounting bracket. I've done that, done that, done that. Press and release the button on top of the floodlight cam. Right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to nip up the ladder and back down again. Give me a second, guys. Okay, we're now gonna join the ring setup network. So let's just do that. It's, it's talking to you. I'm just gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. It just said Rome wasn't built in a day. It says your floodlight cam is connecting to and in my Wi-Fi. Just wait for that to be uh, completed. Woohoo! Your floodlight cam is up and running. Use the adjustment collars and knobs and angles. The lights and the camera. Okay. Oh, the lights just come on. That's good. I guess I'm going to have to adjust the camera in a second. Let me. Uh, there we go. Back garden. Do live view. Okay, the live view is now working. Um, I'm just going to a quick look see if I can adjust the camera so you can see me down at the bottom right hand there. Look down there. I if I can zoom in on me. But I tell you, that's got a hell of a view. Um, you can see everything. So I'm going to do a quick adjustment on the camera, and I think we're nearly there. So guys, it's now all working. You can see the video it works perfectly. I've got to go and set up the the zones etc. Like I did with the other cameras. But there we are, that's the floodlight cam. We'll perhaps give it a try this evening um, and see how much uh, illumination gets into the garden. But another security device for the house. Hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you next week on Debris Day. Cheers guys, bye.